Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the 13th of July 2019, the Duchess of Cambridge, Wimbledon patron, and the Duchess of Sussex attended the Wimbledon Ladies Single Final. Well done to Serena Williams and Simona Halep on a fantastic match, and congratulations Simona on your first Wimbledon title. Ahead of the match, the Duchess of Cambridge met junior players. Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the 11th of July 2019, the Duke of Sussex met Commonwealth Youth Ministers to discuss the key issues affecting the younger generation, from mental well-being to peace and security. The Commonwealth represents 53 countries and almost 2.4 billion people, with 60% under the age of 30. Six Royal Instagram said, This morning, the Duke of Sussex met with youth ministers from across the Commonwealth to discuss ways in which governments can give a higher priority to global issues, ranging from climate change to job creation, mental well-being, education and peace and security, all of which are defining issues for the younger generation. As a family of 53 nations, the Commonwealth represents almost 2.4 billion people, 60% of which are under the age of 30. The Duke deeply believes in the opportunity to harness the talent, energy and intellect of young people throughout the Commonwealth as an overwhelming force for good. As Commonwealth Youth Ambassador, His Royal Highness shared his insights and experiences from the many young people he has met from across the network of nations during his first year in the role. His Royal Highness said, It's up to all of us to ensure young people's voices are heard and their interests protected, but it's the people who have the power to shape policy for young people, all of you, that must champion them at the highest levels. Also today, Buckingham Palace has confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex will be joining the Duke of Sussex on the carpet for the European Lion King premiere. The premiere will take place this Sunday and will also be attended by Beyonce. Walt Disney have announced that hashtag protect the pride is a campaign to protect the dwindling lion population across Africa. The European premiere takes place on July the 14th and is also being held in support of the Duke's conservation work through the Royal Foundation. Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the 10th of July 2019, the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex are taking part in the King Power Royal Charity Polo Day. The charity match is helping raise funds and awareness for charities supported by their Royal Highnesses. Right, next we move on to the best playing pony. Recognition of the horse power that carries around the field. I'd like to welcome you. <laughs> playing in the number three position, it was Harry Porter. player is what is said on the stats. Here comes the uh, winner of the best playing pony with the best playing pony rug. And it's been decided that that goes to... And at the back, it was His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge, Prince William. And now... Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the 6th of July 2019, the royal family tweeted, Today, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's son Archie was christened at the private chapel at Windsor Castle. The photographs were taken by Chris Allerton and are copyright of Sussex Royal. In the photograph, standing left to right are the Prince of Wales, Ms Doria Ragland, Lady Sarah McCorkadale, Lady Jane Fellows and the Duke of Cambridge. Seated from left to right are the Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke of Sussex, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, the Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Cambridge. This official photograph was taken 
in the green drawing room at Windsor Castle. The following message was posted on the couple's Instagram account and reads, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor was christened in the private chapel at Windsor Castle at an intimate service officiated by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are so happy to share the joy of this day with members of the public who have been incredibly supportive since the birth of their son. They thank you for your kindness in welcoming their firstborn and celebrating this special moment. Their Royal Highnesses feel fortunate to have enjoyed this day with family and the godparents of Archie. Their son Archie was baptised wearing the handmade replica of the Royal Christening Gown which has been worn by Royal Infants for the last 11 years. The original Royal Christening Robe made of fine Honiton lace and lined with white satin was commissioned by Queen Victoria in 1841 and first worn by her eldest daughter. It was subsequently worn for generations of Royal Christenings including the Queen, her children and her grandchildren until 2004 when the Queen commissioned this handmade replica in order for the fragile historic outfit to be preserved and for the tradition to continue. The second official photograph released today is of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Archie and was taken in the Rose Garden at Windsor Castle on Archie's christening day. Again, the photograph was taken by Chris Allerton, copyright Sussex Royal. It's in the people I see every day that don't realise how inspirational they are to those watching. From small acts of kindness to sports clubs and youth service over the years, and I have witnessed the first hand the economy that occurs when two people are in sync and mutually benefiting each other. That is why I am urging businesses and organisations to pledge their commitment to mentoring to shift the scale of social mobility for generations to come and unlock a resource which can transform society. I encourage each of you to see the value you bring to those around you and to make a conscious effort to not inspire quietly and invisibly, but rather to step up to the task and help someone shine their light even brighter. To the mentees here today, I am incredibly proud of what you achieved. And I can safely say that my mother, who would have turned 58 yesterday, would feel the same. Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the 2nd of July 2019, the Duke of Sussex has attended a panel discussion at the Diana Award National Youth Mentoring Summit. If you pause the video here, you can read the Duke of Sussex's speech in full.
Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. And also, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So, from me in Shropshire, goodbye.